जी बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इट्स नेम इज लर्न एंड ग्रो विद फराज इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इन द स्टार्ट लेट मी टेल यू इफ यू हैव नॉट येट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल देन गो टू द सब्सक्रिप्शन बटन एंड हिट सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन ओके जी एज आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव स्टार्टिड अ सीरीज ऑन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ बिजनेस फाइनेंस and these videos will be available in the playlist of business finance you can go to that playlist from where you can find my videos okay ratio analysis uh, in the previous video we have covered uh, income statement balance sheet cash flow statement and in this video we are going to discuss about the ratio analysis uh, during my lecture or during my video what will i do i will keep on reading from the slides from from the book i will keep on reading and explaining it for you so that the things will be easy for you to digest okay ji first one is ratio analysis ratio analysis like financial ratios first ratio analysis basically what we do in ratio analysis we compare the figures from various financial statements and we want to compare those figures and we want to draw a meaningful conclusion we want to draw propositions or we we want to predict about the financial health of a company based on those facts and figures after comparison we can draw conclusions what are financial ratios financial ratios says relationship determined from a firm's financial information and used for comparison purpose we see various relationship and from those relationship those relationships are based on financial information and from that financial information we actually compare the progress of various companies one of the main ways to understand how healthy a company is and how well it has performed is to carry out ratio analysis as i told you this is one of the best method you need to carry out ratio analysis and you want to understand the health of a company and compare them to to the ones of competitor and you compare your figures your fact and figures to the competitor company so that you can monitor your performance and monitor your progress as well as you can monitor the progress of your competitors so there are many types of ratios that we will cover in this book these are liquidity ratios financial leverage ratios turnover ratios profitability ratios and market value ratios those are various ratios that we will cover in the coming videos first one is liquidity ratio what is the meaning of liquidity let me tell you before starting the meaning of liquidity is that how fast a company can turn its assets or company can turn it its assets into the cash into money so short term basically we are talking about short term duration short duration in which the firm can liquidate itself so liquidity ratio or short term solvency ratio short term solvency also means firm should be able to solvent itself firm should be able to convert its assets into the cash so these are intended to provide information about firm's liquidity short term ratios solvency ratios or liquidity ratios they are talking about the firm's liquidity and these ratios are sometimes called liquidity measures this is another name for liquidity ratio the primary concern is the firm's ability to pay its bills over short run without undue stress the main focus is in liquidity ratios is that whether firm is able to uh, pay its bills or its liabilities in the short run without any extra pressure without any extra stress like firm should be very comfortable in order to pay its bills or pay its liabilities pay off its liabilities without any undue stress the focus on the current asset and current liabilities as i earlier told you the liquidity ratios they are mo mostly focused on current assets and current liabilities liquidity ratios are particularly interesting to short term creditor short term creditor means a person who is actually uh, giving you loan for short term maybe for 3 months or 6 months or less than 1 year and that is called our short term creditor and our short term creditor they are mostly interested in liquidity ratios the higher the liquidity ratios if liquidity ratio is higher 
the more liquid or solvent the company is in the short term and less risk of financial distress in the short term. These are uh, two important uh, aspects of liquidity ratio. If your liquidity ratio is close to one or it is higher, it means the company is more solvent and company is having less distress in the short term. The norm will vary by industry. Definitely the figures of uh, liquidity ratio, ratio, they vary from one industry to another industry. For example, a supermarket chain will have low account receivable because customers pay for the goods before leaving the store, but high account payable and inventories. So for example, a supermarket is there. So whenever customer go to supermarket, they pay and then they get their money, uh, get their product. So they will have less receivable because customer are paying on the spot, but supermarkets may have high accounts payable and inventories. They might getting the inventories on loan and they have high loan payables. So it is different for, from, from one industry to another industry. Okay, the next one is current ratio. These, this is also included in the liquidity ratio. The current ratio, there is a simple formula for current ratio. Current ratios are always equal to current asset, which are divided by current liabilities. When you divide the current asset of a company to its current liabilities, you get current ratio. And current ratio is a sub part of liquidity ratio. Here in this example, it is showing three companies. Sansbury, Tesco, and William Morrison, and it is showing the current ratio. It is almost a, uh, 0.85. It goes higher, then it goes down, down. So same, you do not need to remember this graph, but this is only for understanding. For example, in case of William Morrison, it is almost 0.6, slightly higher than 0.6, then it goes down to 0 0.04, uh, sorry, 0 0.4, it goes up, then down and again goes higher. Same with the Tesco. Okay, let's move to our next ratio. This is also a subtype of uh, liquidity ratio, which is called quick or AC test ratio. Quick ratio, the formula for quick ratio is current assets minus inventory divided by current liability. In case of, in case of cash ratio, it was simply current asset divided by current liabilities. But in case of quick ratio, it is current assets and you have to minus the inventory from the current asset and you have to divide it by the current liability. Inventory is often the most liquid current asset because you have to convert your inventory and you have to dispose it off. And relatively large inventories are often sign of short term trouble. If you have high inventory, if you have large inventory, it can be a short term trouble. Not maybe not for long term, but in short term, you have to uh, manage that inventory and convert that inventory into the products, into the sales. The firm may have overestimated sales and overbought or overproduced as a result, as a result of your high inventory. In this case, the firm may have substantial portion of its liquidity tied up in slow moving inventory. So if you are having high inventory, maybe your liquidity would be tied up, would be bound because of that high volume of inventory. You have to convert the whole inventory into the sales so that your liquidity should not be tied up to your inventory. Okay, I hope you are getting it. Okay, next one is cash ratio. The formula for cash ratio is cash and cash equivalents divided by current liabilities. You have cash and cash equivalent and you have to take the figure of cash and cash equivalent and you have to divide it by the current liability. You see, in all these three ratios, Current liabilities are uh, in the denominator. For example, let's solve it. For example, like working for 20x2 current ratio. What was the formula of current ratio? It was current assets divided by current liabilities. So for 20x2 current assets, total current assets 10118 divided by current liabilities. These are current liabilities. 7413. So you have to divide this one 7413. Total current liability 7413. So answer will be 1.6. It is a healthy number because it is more than one. Then quick ratio current assets minus inventories divided by current liabilities. So 
where are the inventories these are our current assets this is our inventory 4812 and divided by current liability 7413 then cash ratio what is the what was the formula of cash ratio cash and cash equivalent so where are cash and cash equivalent you can see in this figure 1559 okay where is 1559 cash and cash equivalent you can see from the figure and you have to divide it by current liabilities these are cash and short term inventories are cash and cash equivalent 1559 divided by current liabilities which is 7413 so 0.21 okay in the next video inshallah we will be discussing about financial leverage or long term solvency ratio up till now we have studied about liquidity ratio so at the end of the video let me once again tell you if you have not yet subscribed my channel you are requested to please subscribe my channel so that these videos would be helpful for you in future thank you keep coming